This is good and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy 2, verses 3 and 4. I think most of us have people in our lives that have rejected the Christian faith and God's offer of forgiveness, new life, and everlasting life. It's heartbreaking. Here are a few reminders as you long for family and friends to experience all that God has for them. Number one, ask the Holy Spirit to guide you in your prayers regarding your loved one. Jude 20 instructs us to pray in the Holy Spirit. Two, ask God to bind Satan from this person's life. Mark 3.27 says, But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man. Then indeed he may plunder his house. 3. Pray for a hedge of protection around your loved one that will hold them back from the harmful influences around them. Hosea 2.6 says, Therefore I will hedge up her way with thorns, and I will build a wall against her so that she cannot find her paths. 4. Pray that God will draw this person to himself. Jesus said in John 12.32, And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. 5. Pray that God will place people in your loved one's life whose testimony and witness will help them turn to the things of God. Don't give up praying for your loved ones and looking for opportunities to, in an appropriate way and in God's timing, speak the truth in love. When you don't know what else to say, close your time with something like, well, I hope you know that God loves you and Jesus died for your sins. Sometimes the simplest approach is what cuts through the layers of defense that have been built up. Press on in the Lord.